Hi you guys, welcome back to The Clean Beauty Code. I'm very excited for today because I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm not gonna just be doing a product review. I'm gonna be talking you through an entire night out look using clean beauty products. And I'm so excited. I feel like this is a question I get a lot um, about kind of how instead of just a product, what look would I create or what products would I use for a specific occasion, whether it's a wedding or night out, something a little bit more complex than just like your everyday look. So I'm gonna be talking you through the look I have on my face right now. Now I'm not a makeup artist. I ain't, I just, I'm not. So I'm not gonna be doing a tutorial because I feel like I'm just not qualified for that. And I really wanna talk you through the products and give you all the information you need. I'm very excited we're gonna be doing face, nails, and then I'll also just let you know kind of how I did my hair um, and what tools I used to do my hair because that is another question I've gotten kind of how I do my hair. So I wanna talk you through that as well. And yeah, so if you're excited for this video and more videos like this, then please like and subscribe and let's do a night out look. <laughs> So I'm excited. I just want to jump right in and start talking about products. So the first thing I want to talk about is what I have on my nails today. And that is the color Pep Rally by Dazzle Dry. If you have a wedding or you have literally any event or just a night out with the girls and you don't want to get, you know, a regular gel polish and you just want something that's easy at home and non-toxic, Dazzle Dry is amazing. It is so good. I've made a whole video on it. This will last you really long and it's nice, especially if you have a wedding and you want it to last, let's say, you know, rehearsal dinner and then, you know, the day, the day of the wedding and then you want it to last the day after this is gonna last you so so long and i'm a huge fan of this if you want something that isn't kind of a system like dazzle dry i also really like using the olive and june nail polishes those are really nice and they last really long however they don't like have the lasting power of dazzle dry although they last really long as well sometimes those polishes can chip like if your nails are kind of like brittle and whatever whereas this i feel like kind of just more seals in your nails and it's really nice okay now let's talk about the face so i always like to prep my face with a face cream and you should i mean hydrate 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 we all want to age gracefully and we all want to look like gabrielle union who somehow still looks exactly like when she was in bring it on i don't know what kind of wizardry and witchcraft she uses but she definitely hydrates the crap out of her skin and we need to be doing that too this is the daily greens by pharmacy and it is so freaking good it is a beautiful gel based face cream and i don't normally like gel based face creams because they sometimes pill with makeup they don't always lay beautifully. They don't make me feel like that super, super hydration. I really like my face cream to smack me in the face with hydration and my feel, face to just feel so like hydrated and creamy. That sounds weird. Not creamy, but you know what I mean. This does that somehow, but still is super lightweight and doesn't feel heavy. I don't know, it's so good and an amazing base to a look on a night out and honestly every day especially in the warmer months i highly recommend this and then i go in with primer so this is the cover oh my god <laughs> why is all my stuff always dirty this is the cover fx gripping primer now i am freaking obsessed with this this stuff holds your makeup on your face it is beautiful it doesn't it kind of like sticks the makeup on your face. It has a more jelly grippy consistency. Let me kind of show you. And it kind of has, okay, I don't know if you can see, you can't see that. I don't know why I'm acting like you can see that. I know you can't see that. It has just a more jelly, like grippy, um, sticky almost, but not gross sticky. Not gross sticky. You're not gonna feel like you took a bunch of maple syrup, slapped it on your face and was like, all right, I'm good to go. Like this isn't sticky like that. It just grips your foundation or whatever you're putting on your face. I really like this and this performs really well with all of the foundations I have, all clean beauty foundations I have, except for the Kosas oil-based one. And that's just because it's an oil and this is a little bit more gel-based. So they just don't really work that well together. But besides that, this works beautifully. 
Okay, then I like to go in with a foundation. Now for a night out, I do, I don't normally go in with foundation all the time unless it's a lightweight one, but with a night out, I do like a foundation and I like it to last really long, but still look beautiful up close, but in pictures. That's the key, the foundation that looks good in person and in pictures. And this is that, this is the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation. It is so freaking good. I'm obsessed with it. This is the color Morocco and I really, really like this. So this color here, um, if you're my complexion, this will be really, really nice. If it is the summertime, you might need to add a little bit of like a liquid bronzer or another foundation just mixed in because it might be a little bit light, but for me right now, this has been really fine and I like it a lot. And it's, again, photographs beautifully, lasts really long, feels beautiful on the skin. And with all the sweat you're doing on nights out and at weddings and whatever else you'll be doing, it's not gonna clog your pores if that makes sense. And that is like a huge plus to this. So then I go in with this. And then for my concealer, which is honestly to me the most important part, I go in with the Cover FX Power Play because this thing is gonna snatch your damn under eyes. You're gonna be like snatched. No under eyes, no bags, nothing. This is so good. It lasts really long, it powders really well. I mean, beautiful. Now, all concealers will kind of settle in those fine lines because we're human and our face moves. This is really great because it doesn't settle as much as others. And it also photographs beautifully. It's not gonna do that weird reflection thing when you take pictures. This is freaking awesome. And I feel like I've talked about it a thousand times, but it honestly is just like a ride or die forever in my makeup bag concealer. I like to go in next with a concealer on my face. Oh my God. These things, like I am the dirtiest gerbil. Like, can you see that? <laughs> Like I just did my makeup. So there's literally makeup on all of these products and I'm so sorry. I'm, I would say normally I'm not this dirty, but like girl, I'm my, there's makeup everywhere all the time when I do my face. But so this is the Cloven Hollow Concealer and this is the color six. Oh wait, I didn't tell you what color I'm in this. This is in the Cover FX Concealer. I am in the color neutral medium too. I'll link everything down below and I'll put the colors that I am in them. And then in this one, I'm in the color six. This is amazing. It covers all my hyperpigmentation. It covers all my redness. It is really, really nice. This color is perfect for my face. And this is perfect for under the eyes. You can see, I mean, there's a pretty big difference there in color. Um, and these are kind of the perfect balance. Now this, if you are my complexion um, or a little bit darker, I would go with the color up in the summertime. This is a tad bit light for me right now, but when I blended it out, it was fine. Um, so instead of this, you just go neutral medium three, but this is amazing. And if you already have this, you can make it work, but it is, a touch too light just for the summertime. This is amazing. I use this summertime and in the winter and it performs beautifully then too. Okay, so then I like to go in with bronzer. Now, depending on if you do cream or if you do powder, the order of which you apply these products is really your preference. I'm gonna go in with my cream product next, which is the Tower Beauty Bronzino. And this is in the color West Coast. If you are a more neutral skin tone or just not warm, definitely go get this one. Um, if you are a darker complexion, they have one that is called Best Coast, um, which is the color darker than this. There's two colors. It is very warm toned. However, if you have a deep um, complexion or a darker complexion, it would look really, really nice on you. But if you are even a little bit darker than me, um, and obviously lighter, I would go with this color, which is West Coast. It's beautiful, I love it. It's not very warm tone, but it's not very like, it's not too neutral. I'm a huge fan of this. I like to blend, I like to apply this with a brush, a stippling brush on my cheeks, and then I like to blend it out with a sponge. Now, you can try and blend it out with a brush, but it just, it doesn't perform that well when it's blended out with a brush. Um, and then if you just wanna apply it with your fingers or you just wanna apply it with a sponge, you can do that too. But I like to kind of, with my bronzer so it doesn't end up looking like hella messed up, I like to apply it 
kind of more pinpoint exactly where I want it and then blend it out as opposed to kind of blending it out and then it kind of getting everywhere. This is amazing though and I highly recommend. Okay, next, 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 next. All right, so next I will generally powder my face. Um, if I don't do my whole face right away, I will do my under eyes because I don't want the um, under eye concealer to move too much. So I'll go in with this. This is the Honest Beauty powder. Now, this is an amazing powder. I did get this question the other day, so I wanna answer it here. This isn't going to make you look super, super yellow. Um, although the color of the powder is yellow, it is still very much translucent. But if you are a darker complexion or my complexion, this isn't gonna give you that insane, like white, like ghost face look. This is just going to set your like products beautifully. If you have a warmer complexion, this is great. Neutral, great. Cool, great. Pink undertones, great. This is honestly really, really nice and it is just a nice powder. Now, what I will say is it smells like banana yogurt. <laughs> so, as I like, Jesus. Oh, yeah, it smells like banana yogurt, which I don't love, but it's a good powder. So I excuse it because it like takes, it, you can't smell it once it's on your face. Just like if you take it, put your face in it and smell it, then you're gonna smell banana yogurt. But besides that, you're a good girl. It's awesome, I highly recommend this. And this is also really nice for if you have like a powder, like blush on or a powder um, bronzer on and you put too much on, this is really great for kind of balancing that out. You take a brush and you kind of buff that out and you kind of tone it down. This is really nice for that too. Okay, so, um, all right, let's finish up the face and then we can go on to everything else. So I like to go in with highlighter next. Now this is the PYT highlighter in the color front row. And again, <laughs> okay, here we go. And I really, really like this stuff. So if you're my complexion or darker, this is gonna be beautiful on you. If you're a little bit lighter than me, um, this might be a touch too dark. This is really good for me in the summertime specifically because I have a little bit more of a tan. It is beautiful. I don't know if you can tell. I can't really tell in the viewfinder right now, but I don't know if you can tell, but it is a beautiful like just highlight. I only apply a highlight to the bridge of my nose the tops of my cheekbones, so right here in this area. And then I like to take the brush and just blend it under my eyebrow and kind of just, I don't know, just highlight. Just highlight your girl up. I really like highlighter and I love a blinding highlighter a lot of the time, but when I'm trying to kind of look a little less crazy, because sometimes highlighter can get out of control and you're like, girl, girl. Um, but this is really, really good. I really like the formulation of this. It sits really well on the skin. And one, if you set your face with um, setting spray, which I don't always do, but if you do, um, this like melts into the skin really well. And I'm a huge, huge fan. Okay, now let's move on to brows. We'll do brows, eyes, and then we will finish off with lips really quick. So brows. I mean, if you know me, you know I'm obsessed with brows and on a night out, I like to go a little bit darker on my brows. I just do, I feel like there's, you know, there's always pictures. There's always a thousand people wanting to take pictures and you just, sometimes it just, nothing, flash just ruins everything. These have been my ride or dies since, I don't even, they, I'm obsessed with this combination here. So, this is a brow pencil and it has this like, flat kind of tip and it's not one of those where you just like feather in brow hairs which you know what godspeed to you if you can do that i don't have that patience i just don't it's not in my soul to be able to just sit there and feather in things i'm just i'm tired but i use this and then i go in with the well people brow pet go in with the well people brow expressionist in the color dark brown and this color it isn't on here, but I'll link everything down below. I usually just go with the darkest color that is available for my brows because I just feel like with my skin tone and hair combination, I kind I just have to go dark on my brows. So these are the two best products. This lasts so freaking long. And this, if you're sweating, you're dancing, you're having a great time, it's getting a little wild and crazy. Your brows are gonna be in place with this stuff. It's so good. It is overall 10 out of 10, would recommend. Okay, so next let's talk about eyes. I'm very excited about this. So I went with kind of a purpley look on my eyes today and I did it with the Summer Solstice Palette with, by Aether. I'm a huge fan of this palette and let me tell you why. Everything you want 
kind of out of a easy night out look is in this palette. I am a huge fan of this. Like this is something that if I don't wanna do a dark smoky eye, like a black or a super brown one and I wanna do something a little fun, this palette is awesome because it kinda has everything you need to kinda get there. So I used these three, I used these three colors here. Um, Solstice, Intrinsic, and Sister. I'm a huge fan of this. Like they, this look, I really like this. I use the transition color right here, the color Soul. And although it's a little bit warm toned, it worked really, really well and I'm a huge fan. Now also, if you wanna like just use this palette alone and you don't wanna bring a highlighter with you, if you just go in with this color here, Citrine, you are gonna have a beautiful highlight. I'm a huge fan. I've actually done that a ton and I always, really like my highlighter that day. Now, if you want something that has a little bit less colors and is a little bit more straightforward and you wanna do kind of a purpley look, I have a palette here for you. I have this here. This is the No BS eyeshadow palette and it has everything you need here to kind of create this look. You have a dark purple color um, that you can blend out really nicely. There's like this really nice grayish color and I really, really like it. I'm a huge fan. And then there's an amazing transition color. So you can still create the look I have right now with this palette and it's kind of a little bit more straightforward. There's less colors to kind of play with. This is also an amazing cap palette. Both of these are incredible. They last so well on the face. They don't like powder everywhere. What I will say though, is if you are worried about fallout because neither of these palettes are like perfectly like no fallout because they are really blendable shadows. If you are worried about fallout, I would do your eyeshadow first and then move on to doing your face makeup. That's just what I would do. Okay. Then I go in on with eyeliner. Now this eyeliner is amazing. This is from the br brand Thrive. I love this stuff. Let me just, oh my God, oh my God, it's so pigmented. I mean, the pigmentation on this is freaking incredible. I am a huge fan. Um, it lasts really long. It just sits there and it honestly does not budge all freaking day. It is literally ride or die amazing. You cannot go wrong. And you can blend it out with either a, you know, a brush or they have this little smudger and it, it does come in handy to just kind of blend it out and not have to like grab something else. Huge fan. Okay, last but not least, I wanna talk about my lips. So I always like when I'm going with something like this to go in with a more neutral lip color. Now I have a, I have, I'm gonna suggest the Kosas lipsticks just because they're amazing um, and they're hydrating. And I find when I go out for a long time at night, I don't know about you, but I feel like my lips just fall off my freaking face. Correct me if I'm wrong, but like, I'm just like, I feel like I'm dehydrated by the end of the day and I want something a little bit more hydrating. So we go in with a more traditional lipstick. Now this is the Kosas lipstick in Undone. And I am, I mean, I'm freaking obsessed with this color. Like it is so good. I'm actually wearing the color Vegas on my lips right now, but I wanted to show you another alternative for a lip color. Now for the color Vegas, if you are my complexion, you will be good. It is a very light neutral color. However, if you are, you know, a darker complexion than me, you can still wear it, but I would wear a dark lip liner with it and you are gonna be golden, good to go. Now. I like to then usually wear like a little bit of a gloss. Um, I just feel like it looks really, it like captures really beautifully in pictures. I really like this. And this layers beautifully with this color. This is the color, what is it? Dip, the color dip layers beautifully with the color Undone and it also layers beautifully with the color Vegas. Okay, so that's it for makeup. Now let's end this on hair because I have gotten questions like, like in the past about my hair and if I would do a hair tutorial and all that stuff. Now I'm not a tutorial person. I'm, just, I'm not qualified is really what it is. I'm just not qualified to give hair, like show you how I do my hair or my makeup because I just, I feel like I'm not that good at it, but I will tell you, I did flat iron waves in my hair. I like it to be an easy look that let's say my hair starts to frizz, which it will, cause that's just the type of hair I have or it's humid out or whatever. It kind of will last, if that makes sense. Like it won't look crazy. Whereas if I like straighten my hair 
or whatever and I tried to keep it looking really pin straight or give it that like fun blowout look it's just never going to end well because I feel like humidity always comes into play there's a drop of moisture in the air and I honestly have my hair expands 15 times and yeah that's it I hope this video was helpful I really wanted to do like a nice night outlook even if it's just a date night in I mean I mean we're all in quarantine right now but eventually we will all be able to do something fun so I wanted to be able to put this video out for when we are able to kind of start celebrating again and doing fun things so I really hope you like this video and um I will I guess I'll see you in the next one guys